In this video, we will show you how to disassemble, replace the components and reassemble the Caterpillar C15 injector using the tools made by Radat SPA and the test with the Hartridge cam box. We start the procedure by tightening the holding block 4021068 in the vise and positioning the injector. We then remove the O-rings with the hook tool 4021678. Using the wrench 4021080, we remove the nozzle nut, followed by all the other components. We remove the four solenoid screws using the insert 4021078 or 4021167. Then we remove the two screws of the plate. and finally the ring nut using the 36mm open wrench.
the control valve screw is removed by blocking the 1, 2, 0, 9, 4, 5, 7 pin with the 11 mm open wrench and the inserts 4, 0, 2, 1, 0, 7, 8 or 4, 0, 2, 1, 1, 6, 7. For the injector part numbers, which use a different control valve, the screw is removed with the same inserts 4021078 or 4021167, holding the pin 1209220 with the insert 4021077. We now proceed by removing the spring, the plunger and the plunger support. The spherical mark on the plunger support must be aligned with the hole on the body. We then use the hook tool 4021675 to press and unlock the assembly. At this point, the injector is completely disassembled. We proceed to the careful cleaning, checking and replacing any worn components. We recommend replacing the damaged parts and those which are subject to wear, like the gaskets, springs, valve, plunger, plunger support, solenoid, nozzle bush and nozzle. Please refer to the RADAT website for a complete list of the spare parts and calibration shim kits in our range. We start the reassembly by tightening the holding block 4021068 in the vise and positioning the injector. We insert the various components. If you do not use a pre-calibrated nozzle group supplied by RADAT, it is necessary to calibrate it using the RADAT pins and spring supports. Using the wrench 4021 
0.080, we tighten the nozzle nut to 130 newton meters. Holding the pin 1209457 with the 11mm open wrench and using the inserts 4021078 or 4021167, we tighten the control valve screw to 2 newton meters. After mounting the control valve, check that the movement is correct and replace the calibration washer if needed using our calibration washers kit 1211881. For the injector part numbers which use a different control valve, tighten the screw to 2 newton meters with the same inserts 4021078 or 4021167. Holding the pin 1209220 with the insert 4021077. We now install the disc 1209218, the control valve we assembled before and the other parts. Then we tighten the ring nut with the 36mm open wrench. You can choose the correct plate to use from our kit 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 8, in order to get the correct clearance between the plate and the ring nut. Then the two screws are tightened to 2 newton meters with the inserts 4021078 or 4021167.
we proceed to the installation of the solenoid and the case, tightening the four screws to two newton meters with the inserts 4, 0, 2, 1, 0, 7, 8, or 4, 0, 2, 1, 1, 6, 7. We now mount the plunger, the spring and the spring support. The spherical mark on the plunger support must be aligned with the hole on the body. Then, by using the tool 4021076, the sphere can be inserted in its seat, locking the assembly. The injector is now completely reassembled. We will now show the testing of the Caterpillar C15 injector using the Hartridge cam box. We mount the injector in the cam box using the corresponding fittings. Through the touchscreen, the make and model of the injector can be selected and by pressing start, all the tests are performed automatically. After each test, each entry is shown in green or red based on the positive or negative outcome. And by pressing the test icon, the details can be viewed on screen. All our videos can be seen on our YouTube channel. And for more information, we invite you to visit our website www.radat.com and to contact our sales offices.